What's going on YouTube? It's Atenador from Android Invasion. I'm gonna show you this app called Overscreen Floating Browser. What it basically does is allow you to have uh, floating home screens which overlay on top of your other applications and your home screen. I'm sorry, floating browsers that overlay on top of your home screen and your other applications so that you can actually have your browser open anywhere you are. Uh, if you see through the screenshots on the uh, application menu on the, um, in the marketplace you see that you can actually use this over almost every application uh, I'm gonna see if I can see when this actually first came out uh, for, oh, first let's post when this uh, hmm. I it's probably just recent it only has a few uh, comments from today actually so let me just power this up for you all yeah it also costs $1.49 just so you guys know it's not free you have to pay for this so let's open this up Okay, and there's the browser. So you can actually move this around anywhere you go. And you can actually navigate through your home screen as if this wasn't even there. So you can go through the uh, app drawer. I can actually press home and it goes back there. Let's try browsing the web now and see how quickly this goes. Let's go to Android Invasion. Okay. This uh, actually syncs with the bookmarks I have on the uh, regular browser. I use the uh, stock honeycomb, honeycomb browser. And there's the actual browser. Look at that. Stock as if, you know, I'm actually viewing it. And there's also a pinch to zoom. Let's try to open up another. Actually, you know, with the Galaxy Tab 7 Point Plus, Samsung TouchWiz UI interface, we also have other overlying, overlaying apps. Uh, let's try pen memo for instance opens up when it decides okay there we go so there's pen memo and there's the uh, browser let's try to minimize the size and woo, test there is some lag because there's actually these are two apps running in the background let's open up the stock actually no let's open up Let's open a Pulse. So Pulse opens and you see I still have the Samsung Overlaid app along with the uh, browser. Let's actually close the Samsung one because you guys aren't interested in that. You're interested in the browser. Okay. So you see everything works as if this wasn't even there. You can move this around. So let's, okay, we actually go to YouTube. You can actually browse, you watch videos on YouTube while you have the browser open. Okay, and what do I currently have here? So watch that. I'm just browsing YouTube while I have the browser open and while I can navigate with the browser and view different web pages, I can also do other things in the background. So this is pretty neat, you know. Uh, I'd use this probably in class. My, a lot of my professors, sadly, are very intelligent in terms of technology. So when they walk around, they actually see what we're doing. I can just easily just have this open. Oh, another thing, you can actually minimize this. So, uh, the gray little ball so next to the red uh, exit, there you go, it's minimized and it see it's down there on the bottom of the taskbar. If I want to bring it back, I just go to my notifications and I'll press and it comes right back. And it loads up perfectly. I hear mixed reviews on whether Flash works on this. Let's just give this a quick try. Oh. Text copy, yeah. Okay, let's go to YouTube. By the way, guys, I have to say, you swipe with the with uh, the capacitive pen. You probably will take the best notes in your life in class. Uh, let's watch this one. I'm gonna see if it actually works.
imbecil por assistir. Imbecil por assistir, nós também estamos cansados, sabe? Ok. So yeah, video loads. Flash actually works on this. Whether I would actually use this for that purpose, um, probably not. I highly doubt it. But you can actually do that. Let's see, are there, yeah, there are settings on this. What can we do with this browser? Actually, let's just minimize this. So we can set the home page, uh, the generic uh, settings on any browser, cookies and passwords. You can change the user, the user agent. Um, not bad. Uh, plugins, keep URL bar. Yeah, we want to keep that. And yeah, here we go. Embed videos, videos are putting the application. Okay. Um, bandwidth management. Okay, not bad. It's a pretty lightweight browser, I, I guess. And we can just go back to where we were. All in all, I think this is a pretty interesting concept. Um, I probably just saw. No, good. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it then. This isn't too bad. Uh, let's try to put this in uh, portrait mode and see how it looks there. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. Uh, so I still just move it around. Let's try to make a new document. And yeah, there you go. If you want to browse the web while doing other things, go right ahead. Maybe you don't want to do it exactly like that, but hey, web's open. So that's a review for Overscreen app, the Overscreen application for uh, Android. Uh, please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching.